When Ruff, Reddy, and Pinky were left adrift in the Atlantic, a giant swordfish attacked their rubber raft. But Pinky dunked his trunk in the sea and propelled the raft to land just in time. Amen. While Ruff was scouting around in the jungle, a strange pair of eyes followed him. And suddenly, a pair of arms reached out and grabbed poor Ruff. He was tied tightly to a tree, but why? Well, let's see who's up to what right now, shall we? Nothing takes it off like Noxima medicated shape. <laughs> Take it off. Take it all off. Nothing takes it off like Noxima medicated shade. How closer you shade. see who's up to what right now, shall we? My mom. Or maybe something found Ruff. Right, Reddy. Ruff is staring into the business end of a big gun. And on the other end is the meanest man in Africa. Scary, hairy, safari, hairy. Oh, what do you want, mister? I am looking for a big cat. Well, don't look at me. I'm a little cat. You don't understand. You're going to... Yeah, but you... Yeah, ha, ha, ha. Lion bait? Hey, where are you going? I will duck behind this rock. And when the lion comes after you... you. I'll blast him. But uh, suppose you miss. Harry Safari never misses. What a spot. Lunch for a lion. If there's a lion around. Which there is. Sheesh. Help! It's all. Everybody's doing it, jumping for joy. Mmm, boy, Almond Joy. Mmm, boy, Almond Joy from Peter Peanut. Finest tasting candy of all. Take golden toasted almonds, crisp whole almonds, dipped in smooth, juicy milk chocolate to seal in that fresh roasted flavor. Then bring on the coconut, so juicy, so tender, and juicy. Top it all with real milk chocolate. Mmm, boy, Almond Joy, juicy, coconut, real milk chocolate, and golden toasted almonds on every juicy double bar. Peter Peanut Almond Joy, indescribably delicious. A spot, lunch for a lion, if there's a lion around, which there is. Sheesh. Help! Help! But Harry the Creep is sound asleep. And it sounds as if that lion is getting closer and closer. But if it wasn't for that lion, we would not be in this predicament, not be in this predicament, Valerie.